courthouse today where Trump pled not guilty. Fox's Griff Jenkins spoke to a few for us to find out why they came out. I am here to support Mr. Trump because he's not guilty. This is a pure harassment. It's an injustice. They're coming after him for no reason at all, just because he's running. Once he's out of the race, that's it. They, they win. He cannot drop out no matter what. This country is going downhill. If not for Donald Trump, this country's gone. This is all bull. He, the, since, he, since he went into the White House, I started with him, and they're afraid of him. Do you think the other candidates should pledge to pardon Trump if he's convicted? He ain't going to be convicted because the people has the power in the United States. I feel like he's getting a raw deal. Uh, he's probably the most investigated politician in the history of the United States. And, and uh, they've always come up with nothing. So focus their energy on investigating the Biden family. And it seems like the Biden family and the Democrats can pretty much do whatever they want to, and they don't get uh, the same kind of media scrutiny. If President Trump is reelected, should he pardon the Biden family? Hell no, he needs to go after them. This is corrupt. This is a corrupt administration. We've never seen such a corrupt administration when we have people in the White House peddling influence for money, and we have the laptop from hell, and we have 33,000 emails that were deleted, acid washed by Hillary Clinton, and she's allowed to walk free. No one does anything about it. Well, the Biden crime family, they need to be, if they're convicted, they need to pay the price because they actually been taking money and they've been bribed. It's pay for play and they have sold out America. If Trump gets reelected, should he pardon the Biden family? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. There's two tiers of justice in this country right now. And that's, it's ridiculous. So Trump 2024, let's go, baby. Thank you, Griff, for giving us that. That was cool. Now, while Americans are not afraid to stand up and say what they really think about this indictment, many of the establishment GOPers are just staying oddly silent. They think that by doing that and letting Biden do whatever he wants with the executive branch, that they're protecting the national security agencies. But they are not. They're simply allowing those agencies to become more and more discredited in the eyes of the public. Every Republican senator who wants to have a strong FBI should be furious with what the Biden administration is doing because its actions are weakening a vital U.S. institution. And thus, they're endangering the United States. One senator is giving it right back to the Democrats. Ohio's J.D. Vance today threatened to block all of Biden's judicial nominees until Merrick Garland stops using his agencies to harass Joe Biden's political opponents. Senator